This video will explain the fallacy of missing the point. The fallacy of missing the point illustrates a special form of irrelevance. This fallacy occurs when the premises of an argument support one particular conclusion, but then a different conclusion, often vaguely related to the correct conclusion, is drawn. So here's an example. Um, crimes of theft and robbery are increasing at an alarming late rate lately. The conclusion is obvious. We must reinstate the death penalty immediately. So the premise or evidence that's given is that crimes of theft and robbery are increasing at an alarming rate lately. So you would think that would be leading towards a conclusion like um, we should increase the numbers of police on patrol um, or you know we should increase safety measures like make sure people have uh, more security make sure people watch out for um, their stuff when they're walking around no instead they go to something that is i guess tangentially related but not very um, it has to do with crime and punishment but um, their conclusion they, they conclude that we must reinstate the death penalty immediately and it's completely unclear how reinstating the death penalty is going to have any effect on the problem at hand, which is crimes of theft and robbery, not crimes of murder, right? So if it had said crimes of murder rates are increasing at an alarming rate lately, then the conclusion that we must reinstate the death penalty immediately is perhaps a bit quick, but at least it seems relevant, right? So unless... Um, we're also going to be instituting the death penalty in, in order to stop crimes of theft and robbery, um, which seems a bit extreme. It, we have here a conclusion that is not relevant to the premise. So the, this is the fallacy of missing the point. Usually these kinds of arguments are longer, there, there's usually more premises and they're kind of leading up to some particular conclusion and then it just sort of goes off in left field at the very end, at the conclusion. It draws some other conclusion. It's usually something a bit more extreme than the conclusion that really should have been drawn from those premises. So that's, um, and, and whenever they tell you the conclusion is obvious, that's that's something to be suspicious about. It's not always the case that there's going to be something um, fallacious going on, but often, you know, as I hear, they're obviously trying to make the conclusion appear stronger than it is, or appear to follow from the premise in a way that it doesn't. 